dismissal cases out of dead rats, says he's going to carry on with his work despite some of the reactions he's received, including death threats. Former butcher Jack Devaney admits his work doesn't appeal to everyone, but says his designs are selling across the world. Janine Jansen's been to meet him. Uh, one of my favourites is the, the rat here, the nighty rat star. And it's got a little Jesus chain on there, which I got off a, an old toy. And a pair of trousers off another toy. You can remove the trousers, you can remove the chain. Jack Devaney used to work part-time as a butcher. These days he finds new uses for dead rats, rabbits, squirrels, moles and mice. Some people like it, some don't know it. It really polarises people. No one ever sits on the fence over it. You never get someone looking at it going, oh, someone's always got an opinion, and I quite like that. But I like how mainly like how it makes them laugh. I don't want to upset them with it. This is a rat pencil case. You got a zip down the spine there. You can pop your pencils and your pens into there. Pencil cases sell online for up to thirty-five pounds, but his work has caused a lot of upset. Like all sorts, from people reporting me for the RSPCA. People reporting me for theft um, All of it comes to nothing because I'm, I'm not hurting anything or damaging anyone really. Um, I've the off of death threat. The, the weirdest death threat I've had is off a little old lady who told me graphically what she'd like to do to me. Do you think it's sort of humiliating to the animal? No, not at all. I, I mean, again, you could probably see why people would think it is, but I don't think it is because once it's dead, it's dead. Jack gets the dead animals from pet shops and local pet controllers. Do you think you're a weirdo? No, not really. I'd like to think I'm not in it. <laughs> do you think some people think it's quite sick what you do? Some might consider it that, yeah, and you can definitely see why. But there's, there's really no meaning behind it or any message behind it. And I just thought it'd be funny. Yes, this really is a rabbit toaster. There's the only thing worse than finding hair in your breakfast is you finding your breakfast in a hair. I can't get my hands on a hair. I see the rabbit. For ornamental purposes only. Janine Jansen, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth.